it going guys, RNG Live here and today we have the new event, the Battle City Showdown is here. We actually got quite a bit of stuff last night which is awesome, I'm so hyped for this one. We finally got the level cap increase. That means our characters can now level up above level 40 because all of my characters were already maxed out and it was getting pretty boring to farm uh, with no level ups. And I'm gonna go over the rewards right now. First off, for Yami, you, we got Dark Magic Inheritance. A pretty cool card lets you banish two spells to add one Dark Magician, pretty much spell or trap, from your deck to your hand. That's a really good card. It's also a quick play. It makes him really good. Kaiba's got a pretty, fairly new card, actually. He's got that Melody of Awakening Dragon. that lets you pretty much add two kind of blue eyes to your hand. 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense, or less. Uh, so that's pretty pretty interesting. So it could have more than 3,000 attack. It could have less than 20, uh, 2,500 defense. So anything with that matches those uh, kind of lines, you can add to your hand. No one messes with Joe Wheeler, and he's got another blue flame swordsman. Ah, eh, fair enough. Mai has that Amazonist queen. Well, she's getting that Amazonist support, which is pretty cool. taya has got actually a pretty good card called Miraculous Descent. This is one of those cards where, in like fairies or counter fairies, any any kind of deck like that, you do have that ability. You run that card where you banish a pretty much a fairy and draw two cards. You can actually use this and on the next turn you are you set this, activate that card, uh, get your discard or whatever, get to banish one of your one of your big fairies, one of your boss monsters, and then activate this on your opponent's turn. You can pretty much just special summon, kinda like a call of the haunted, uh, but from the banish pile. Or a return from the different dimension, wherever that card is for the dark type monsters. That's pretty much this, and that's pretty cool. It's a pretty good card. Alright, little Yugi is bringing us another Taco Crusader. Uh, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Fair enough. And a repeat card. It's not, not bad. We got Bug Juice here. We got another card. We got Howling Insect. Uh, that looks pretty interesting. It's basically a searcher for any insect with 1500 or less attack. Uh, and it searches it from the deck, so that's not bad. That's really not that bad. Uh, you can use it to pretty much get all your plays going. So uh, these cards are all always pretty good. They let you kind of search. And we got Rex. I've actually been using Rex the most just to kind of grind because I use his Jirok deck. Uh, but we got Overtex Quatlas or something. However you pronounce it because there's no U in that in here. So that's interesting. I, wa I really want this card because it's one of the few cards that's actually new. And it looks like it looks like it can give real life to like dinos. Then we got Mako over here with his Aegis of the Dragon Lord. Uh, so this one does say until the end phase, face up level three or lower water monster you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Atlanteans that are all pretty much level three. It just basically doesn't let them get destroyed. It's an okay card. Well, Yami Merrick has that new Doria over here, which is pretty much like kind of like a man eater bug. We got Yami Bakura who with his Dark Ruler Hades. You got Bandit Keith with his Proton Blast. This card actually looks pretty good. So this one really benefits from you having effects that like toss coins. Uh, so I think if you do toss three coins simultaneously, you might be able to get all three effects. I'm not sure. So Barrel Dragon, this is like the perfect time to use him. When an effect is activated that tosses a coin two or more times, you can banish this card from the grave and treat them all as heads. That's pretty crazy on top of all of that. I think that's a pretty good card. And now we got a Shizu over here with her Gravekeeper's Visionary. I don't even, I, I think that was in the game already, right? Visionary? It's just like, I don't think I've ever seen me, any people use it, but whatever. Uh, it, we, we ain't getting Necro Valley anytime soon, guys. Uh, Necro Valley would be too busted for Duel Links. We got Odeon over here with his weird cat card. We got Quantum Cat. Uh, it's pretty much a trap monster. It summons itself with 2,200 defense, zero attack. We got Pegasus here with his Toon Gemini Elf. I think his AI had it where if it attacks you get to discard one card from your opponent's hand. Uh, which is pretty good. I mean we're finally getting this card so that's that's awesome. Uh, and then next we got Mokuba with a second copy of that Ruins of the Divine Dragon Lords. And then we got the Paradox Brothers over here. And they got Jurai Gumo. We're talking guys. We got Jurai Gummo over here. It's not that great of a card to be honest. 2200 attack is pretty strong. I mean, you could summon it and just leave it there and not attack and kind of act as a wall. But the thing is, it does it does pretty much stay... When this card declares an attack, you have to toss a coin and call it. Uh, it could, with, could work with that Bandy Keith card. Uh, but if you call it wrong, you lose half your life points. So, I don't know, man. Jurai Gummo is kind of a risk. Then we got Arcana over here. 
And he does say Arcana, not Arcana. <laughs> but whatever, we got another copy of Skilled Dark Magician. And we got Bones. Oh, with the third copy of King of the Skull Servants. That's what we needed. Awesome. We got Jaden over here. And we got Card Trooper. I really, really, really want this card. I really do. I would use this in Chaos Dragons a while back. You just summon it, mill three uh, effect, and he just powers up to 1900. Uh, I would do that all the time. I think that's going to be a pretty good card. Astro Phoenix over here with the second copy of his boss monster, Destiny Hero Plasma. We got Jesse with his copy of Crystal Bond. Uh, I think this is one of the newer Crystal Beast cards. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this should like boost up Crystal Beast to make them actually playable. The Chaz. Oja Simulation? I guess? Alexis Rhodes over here with her second copy of Swing of Memories. No one predicted this, dude. Everyone thought she was going to have like these ice monsters, which she might. She might in the future. And then we got Crowler over here. And he's got an Ancient Gear box. I mean, fair enough. I didn't really expect Ancient Gear box, but okay. And then last up, we got Bastion Misawa, who said it was finally his turn because he's last on the list. Almost forgot about him. And he's got one copy of Carbon Net on. Uh, I think you can use this to pretty much summon Red Eyes and stuff like that. So that's a pretty good card. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting that one as well. Uh, but that's pretty much it for everybody. Switch to Yugi or something. And we're going to go ahead and get started with this event. So let's go ahead and start this off. This is the first time I'm booting this up at all. Uh, so let's see what Tour Guide has to say. You're invited to Duelist Chronicles Battle City Showdown. In this area... Relive the fiercest clashes between the greatest duelists. For this trip, journey with me to the finals of Seto Kaiba's greatest duel monsters tournament, Battle City. Isn't that, a, isn't that an opinion? But whatever, we got after the duel between the best friends, Yugi and Joey have enough locator cards to make to the finals. This is picking up right after the last event. The locator cards show our heroes the final location of Battle City. All right. So this is where the story begins. The Egyptian God card. Slight for the Sky Dragon. I'll put this card in my deck. Okay, Yugi. Pharaoh, the duels you've been waiting for will finally begin. Okay, Yugi. Yes. If I win these battles, will I truly regain my memories? Merrick wields both a Millennium Item and the Egyptian God of the Sun. <gasps> Ra! Alright. That's just a little bit of an exposition there for you. Kaiba possesses Obelisk the Tormentor. He does? Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, we can't use Obelisk yet. Win the clash between three Egyptian gods. Oh, okay. Are you telling me to win? Why is Akura showing up? I mean, he's in the tournament too. I know that, but... Unlock the lost memories. Okay, it's everybody. Oh, it's everybody's goals. The tournament will take place thousands of feet in the sky. Kybercraft 3, prepare for a liftoff. Alright, Roland. Alright, so we good? I roll dice. Alright, gather dice fragments. I got I got a lot of dice fragments actually. I got like over a hundred, I think 150. So we got our daily bonus. We got 15 of them, which is pretty cool. Uh so. What do we have here? Now that the event is underway, we can actually check to see what we got, like all the new stuff. So, we got what, all this stuff. Ooh, here's some new stuff. Oh, I see a UR. We got Fusion Sword Masamune Blade. Equip only to the warrior gains 800 attack while equipped. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects. That's pretty interesting, but probably not that relevant because there's a lot of back row destruction. So, you can just destroy this and then whatever. You can equip it to Gear Free the Iron Knight. Why? Doesn't doesn't Gear Free just destroy this? I don't see the point, dude. <laughs> Whatever. We got this guy too. Skilled Blue Magician. I love the art on this card. It looks really cool. It looks really nice. 1818 straight up, dude. Very, very balanced attack and defense. You attribute this card with three spell counter special summon one Gaia the Fierce Knight monster from your hand, deck, or grave. I mean it summons Gaia. I don't know why it's a UR. I, okay, fair enough, whatever. I guess it could summon this guy. We got another chance to get anti-magic arrows. So there you go, guys. For all of you guys that did not manage to get them from farming uh, Arc Arcana during his event, there you go. Thousand Needles. Dark Sage. 
That's a very, very underused card, but this one's very unique, actually. This is one of the only cards I've ever seen that can, like, prompt you from the deck. Like, if you have it in your deck, it can prompt you, which is pretty crazy. So, that's an interesting card. I want it just to check that prompt. Uh, but whatever, we got another chance to get Mahavayo. Really good card. More chances to get Karibo. This card is not that great, but whatever. Uh, and Tactical Espionage Expert. I think I got this one time on the Mystery Pack and I tilted me. But whatever. Um, is that it? Is that all we have from the lottery and stuff? Let's check. Ooh, free 10 times. Oh, we get some free pulls. Let's start it off with some free pulls. All right. Let's go ahead and go for them free 10 pulls. No lightning, meaning this is garbage. I got garbage. All right, fair enough. Uh, okay, what are these? Oh, what's this? Kaiser Dragon! Uh, Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, and Fairy Dragon. Alright, that's garbage. It's straight up garbage, dude. Uh, but whatever, I want to check the reward list, see what we got. Skilled Blue, Mahavayo, Dark Sage. Okay, so all those cards that we talked about. And the gems is basically... I do this for the gems. The gems are the best part, because you can get a lot of gems from these. Uh, so fair enough. Let's go ahead and get things started. Let's roll a dice. I have 186 dice. Uh, so, we got two. Let's land right on Bakura. Are you prepared to lose it all, Yugi? It's you, the spirit of the Millennium Ring. Clearly. Now that the introductions are over and done with, why don't we begin this duel? You're after my Millennium Puzzle again. Perhaps there's something else I'm planning to take away from you besides your puzzle. Such as your Egyptian God card. Oh no. All right, whatever. So we got him level 40. Uh, all right, fair enough. Let's see something about the, uh, the rod. All right, so Yugi Yami Yugi. And what else? We we got to win with Slifer in the deck. Oh, it's just got to be in the deck. That's pretty cool. Achieve one no damage win. All right. I have my Lava Golem deck set. I need to switch it up to kind of cater to these events. I don't know. Give I'll, I just got to give Yugi a pretty good deck. I guess I'll throw in Slifer just for the lulls, uh, but we're going to go ahead and alter that real quick. All right, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Demock deck. This is just a blast from the past. I used to really, really, really like this deck. Uh, so I think we're going to go with this for today, uh, at least for the Yugi duels, to get as many gems as possible. So let's go ahead and take them on. All right, let's get this thing started. We got Yami Bakura as my first opponent. Uh, oh, that's a nice new animation. Oh, we're on top of the ship, dude. On top of that blimp thing. That's where the tournament was held in the anime. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Destiny Board of Doom. Okay, all right. You got skills too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's got the Necrofear. Does that mean... Oh, Destiny Board. No freaking duh, dude. I already drew Slifer. All right, so... I think what I can go ahead and do is I can set Legion, the Fiend Jester... And I could, I could set it and pass. I, I don't want to go for Mausoleum yet because I don't have that much support for um, Dark Magician yet. I highly doubt I will summon Slifer. But hey, did we actually survive? It looks like we did. Uh-oh, we got the F. All right. Just giving me the F. All right, we got that Ancient Rules. No need to use Mausoleum, so I don't even have to... I guess I don't even have to pay life points, so we can, we can still do that no damage win. All right. Dark Magician! Get out of here, Dark Magician. Skip the animation. This is going to be long enough as it is, dude. Uh, so, I think I'm going to leave this guy in defense. I don't know. Probably. Uh, so, let's go ahead and attack. Yeah! Dark Magician! All right. So, what do we got? I... I all I got to do is win in a few turns. So, that's not, not bad. I could probably bring out Slifer, dude. I could probably bring out Slifer. All right, so I think I'm going to attack him because I feel like he's got a really high defense monsters. So I'm just going to smack. Oh, you're kidding me. Doom Duck, don't. Okay, I was about to say don't. I was getting war flashbacks there, dude. Uh, I was like, don't you dare summon uh, Lava Golem. But he doesn't run Lava Golem. He runs Necrofear. All right, doesn't he have three in the grave already? He can already summon Necrofear. So there you are, Demok over here. You know what? Screw it. I'm going for Mausoleum. I'm going for Mausoleum, just so I can activate. I'll pay the life points. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm going to summon this bad boy, though. But we did use 2,000 life points. Therefore, we can do our shenanigans with our... Uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call it, dude? We have Destiny draw next turn. I sh probably should have switched to the guy to the attack position. All right, so you don't get your effect because I banish you. Uh, attack. There you go. Now you can't use Mausoleum. 
Uh, Demox, do your thing. Give me my free card back. And this means I, I guess I can summon Slifer, but I, I really don't want to. Um, another set. That's cool. Uh oh, we're getting really close. We're on A. Destiny draw. All right, so right here is where I I would usually add this card to heal, uh, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I guess I will go ahead and add. Eh, why not? Supremacy Berry, just for the lulz. Uh, and let's heal up. Oh wait! He's weaker than me! I'll take damage! <laughs> wow, what a dingus, dude. What an idiot. Alright, so let's go ahead and just win this game. I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> I, I always do that, too. I always do use the Supremacy Berry that way. But fair enough, let's just win this game. Pretty good. We got our first win. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, yummy Merrick. Yummy Bakura, dude. Alright, so... That was not bad. I mean, we got our first win. Are we actually getting scored? Oh, we are. Hey, what are these? Divine Offerings. Whoa. That's new. That's actually new and interesting. Alright, cool. See, this is what I'm talking about. Duel Links. Innovate. Do new stuff. There's no way you can break my combo. The next turn will be your final one. Ha, get it? Uh, that's pretty much how my turn ended, right? He ended on A. Uh, Alright. When this turn is over, Destiny Board will have all five letters, meaning I lose. It all depends on my next draw. It's your last turn, Yugi. I shall win! Yugi. Use your Egyptian God card, you fool! Ha! And this is, this is a pretty much like... Exactly with the duel that I did. I just never used the god. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I right, draw. What? <laughs> Slifer. I summon the almighty Slifer the Sky Dragon. Ah, manga panel. Osiris, dude. That's legit. Oh, I was so close. Just when Destiny Board was about to be complete, you summon your legendary dragon! It's divine. It's not a dragon. I win, Bakura, just because he summoned it. He didn't even attack or anything, dude. Okay. I, I did not get the no damage thing, but we did get 30 coins and the 150 for beating him, I think, at level 40. Uh, which is awesome, meaning we can move on. Let's see what we got. Number two. All right, we got some coins. Awesome. 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 Very cool. Uh, one, we got some story. All right. I mean, fair enough. We're trying to go through this. Uh, I guess just as as we go. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but whatever. Pride of Shadows tournament first match. Yugi summons the Egyptian god card to break Bakura's combo, but Merrick has another plan. All right. Hey, look, it's the other Merrick. This can't be. There's nothing I can do. It's not over yet, you fool. I have a plan for us. Are they work oh, Yeah, they're working together on this, right? He's got the rod, I think. What? Oh, yeah. Odeon is posing as Merrick. Merrick! Listen carefully. Bakura is under the control of the Millennium Rod, and he'll do as I command. What? How can that be? I thought the spirit of the Millennium Ring was in control of Bakura. True, but now I control both Bakura and the spirit. I shall prove it by freeing his mind. Wait, what? Oh, my arm. It hurts. Who said that? Was that Odeon? Bakura! He's in pain. Without the spirit of the ring, he is weak. Oh, that was little Bakura. Yeah. So you may wish to reconsider your attack. Slifer can worsen your friend's condition. Would you risk the health of your friend? Only a coward would do something like this to win a duel. Kaiba. <laughs> Remember Kaiba did this? <laughs> oh, man. I see. So this is how we'll win this duel. Yugi will never attack his friend Bakura. It's the perfect plan. But I still need Bakura, and I can't risk his health. He holds the Millennium Ring in my spirit. I must protect him 
for the moment. Oh. So stay out of this, Merrick! It's you again! The Spirit of the Ring! That's right. I'm back in control of your friend. So if you're planning on using your Egyptian God card, why don't you use it on me right now? Hmm. Come on, Yugi! Slide for the Sky Dragon! Thunder Force attack! Yeah, get him! <laughs> he took it, dude! What a hero. Alright, well that was interesting. I don't know if I can read all these story events, I really don't. <laughs> Yugi won this duel, but I'll be back to take what's mine. Soon, I can control the world's greatest power. Uh, okay. Moving on. Just keep going. Landing right on the Vagabond, dude. I'm gonna auto do this guy. Uh, whale? Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, I mean, that's showing what he's using. Uh, whatever, let's just chill and see what he is running. We got the Vagabond over here. The true Vagabond. I guess while this duel is going, let's see if we can actually win. Um, I guess the set play is nice. Alright, cool. Oh, best soldier, do we lose? <laughs> Whatever. Um, I did start playing, I guess last night. I started playing one of my uh, old games. Really? Are you kidding me, dude? That was, that was really, really quick. I, I started playing that Steins Gate game for the PC. I've actually had that game for like years, many, many years. But yes, last night I, I watched the new episode of Steins Gate and I got really into it. So I finally started playing it, and I'm, I'm all and I'm all hyped on that game now. And and you can say I'm a I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a theoretical scientist now <laughs> because I know all about time travel. But whatever, we got them offerings. What are those? What are those offerings, dude? We got we got to really see. But whatever, we got the win. I don't care. We do get coins from just losing to him the Vagabond though, so that's pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and, I guess, take on um, Odeon slash Merrick. He's Merrick right now, apparently. So let's see. Hmm. I hope you brought a parachute, because I'm blasting you right off this blip. You got that, Merrick? Uh, let's go, huh? You've shuffled enough cards for ten duels. Now, both of you, take your positions. Listen up, you bald-headed freak. According to my math, you're going to be all washed up in nine turns. That's if you can count. Okay. <laughs> all right, Joey. Calm down, dude. Calm down. Nine turns, guys. we got to beat him in nine turns. All right, so... Okay. Uh, use Joey Wheeler. Use a trap card three times. Use a spell card three times. All right, so we're going to have to switch it up. I need I need to use Joey. I think I went with this deck. We got Dead BLS, though. This is a deck that I showcased on the channel before, except I was running Gaia. Now I'm running BLS in this deck. So, uh, this should be interesting. I do want to try it out. All I have to do is pretty much run or activate three traps and three spells, which shouldn't be too difficult, especially with all these guys. Uh, but whatever, let's go ahead and get things started. Let's see if we can actually win with this deck. All right, so we got that Neos deck with Joey. Uh, let's see if we can actually pull this win off. I I'm, I'm, do need to make a good like auto duel deck for these guys I really do uh, but this is since this is my first time jumping in uh oh look at him look at him trying to, try to talk to him dude all right fair enough uh, uh oh oh what that's a lot of words temple of the kings already dude can we destroy that I don't know this deck too well but whatever looks like we already got a whole bunch of stuff all right so First things first, I'm going to go ahead and set that and that. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe set Econ. I don't know. I, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set an Econ right now. And I'm going to end. Basically, on my opponent's turn, I want to activate stuff. So. Oh, he's got Chain Reaction. He's actually got abilities on me, dude. Beginning of Heaven and Earth, though. Let's see if we remember how to use this deck properly. You want to pick one Black Luster Soldier. We want to pick one... Uh, I think we would want to send Cross Border, right? I'm not sure. I definitely need a Neos. So, Neos. And I guess one of the smaller guys. So we can start making the fusions. So, him. It's been a while since I've used this deck, guys. So, I have, I have like, no idea how to use the deck. 
Uh, but whatever. Cool. That was an attack. I might actually just take that. I, I don't know. You know what? I'll take it. Only a thousand. No one messes with Joe Wheeler. All right, we got Cross Porter over here. We got Last Gamble as our skill too. So I'm probably gonna set Wall of D, and I'll activate this. Beginning of Heaven and Earth. Uh, obviously, you gotta pick that Black Luster Soldier. You gotta pick that Neos. And I guess I mean, there's no real point to sending this guy, is there? No, yeah, I think you can use him that way. If you send Cross Porter, you get to add uh, one of the one of the Neos things to your hand. So. That's how you would use it. Dude, it's been it's been months since I've used this deck, I think. So I think I'll add maybe the Hummingbird or maybe this guy, because this guy's in the grave already. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and add the Spatian Hummingbird. Because I can summon him and do some shenanigans on his on the turn that I can. Uh so you can gain five. Uh, Alright, I'm good. Uh so there I can already go for a miracle contact fusion, which is pretty nice. Miracle contact. Alright, so contact, let's see if we can bring out, honestly, I think this guy might might be better, better in this situation because these guys, I think they, they bounce back, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, during the end phase, shovel this card into the extra deck. We don't want to do that, so we're going to go for this guy. Because I just need I just need a big monster on board, so let's go ahead and get that black luster. And uh, Neos, I guess, I don't know. Alright. Okay. Right. There's that. And I think that's all I'm going to use for now. I'm just going to go ahead and attack real quick. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, so that was easy. Now, this guy doesn't deal damage, so I have no idea how we're going to actually hurt him. Uh, but what we can do is we can legit pitch, like, Cross Porter and Miracle Contact, maybe. Or I can pass turn, because this guy cannot attack directly. So... I mean, I'll, tr I'll try it just to see if he chains anything. He won't, though, but he doesn't take damage. All right, so, end. All right, he's legit got nothing, dude. So, Miracle Contact again. Uh, let's activate our last gamble. If he activates the trap, I lose, though. Holy crap, I just realized this. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. And a six! Holy crap, dude. I gotta get this guy out. I really do. Let's heal up real quick. Let's heal. A ASAP, dude. I am not... I, I do not want to mess up like this. Alright, so... We got that. I think... I do have to activate some spells and stuff. So, I've already activated, what? Two traps, two spells. I should activate one more trap. And one more spell. Uh, Alright, so... In this situation... I can already contact out, get my stuff out. I don't know if I can get, I don't know if I can get BLS. I might be able to, but whatever. We're testing stuff out right now, so let's go ahead and activate this. Miracle contact. We're gonna go for this bad boy over here, so, and that would mean using Neos in my hand. Uh, I guess this guy in the grave, and this guy. And this guy's cool because I think he blows up everything. Does he blow up everything? Like, yeah, all spells and traps. Screw it! Blow everything up! Alright, so now he can't do anything. He had that Tiki curse. Nice. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and contact out. We're going to contact this bad boy out. I want to see if I can actually go for a black list. No, I can't. I actually cannot because they're, the, they're not in the grave or whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and contact out, because this guy's going to leave the field either way, so. Actually, no, we could have attacked! Dude, I am so dumb. It's a quick play. I am so dumb, dude. Uh, this better be game. This better be game, dude. Alright, so let's go ahead and just deal as much. I don't. I messed up so much, because it's been, it's been forever since I played this deck. But this should be... Almost game! No! I would have had game, dude. I would have had game. Alright, draw. Alright, we got that BLS. I think I'm gonna go ahead and activate this guy real quick. Let's heal up. 2,000. Uh, let's activate this guy. I forgot to activate this guy as well. Dude. So annoying. But whatever. Let's go ahead and discard. Ooh, my 
Oh my goodness, dude. Uh, screw it. Take that, you heathen. All right, so I'm probably not going to be using this deck anymore, dude. It requires a lot of thought, and I am I am just not up for it right now because I haven't practiced a deck in months. But whatever, at least we won, so GG. All right, so. It's time to lose now, so say goodbye to the finals. Before you make your final attack, I got something I want to say to you. I'll never forget when you forced me to hurt my best friend in that crazy duel. But ever since we started this duel, I've had a weird feeling about you. I can't put my finger on it, but you don't seem like that same guy that controlled my mind. That Merrick's a regular slime ball, but you played a really fair duel. I got a voice telling me you ain't that rotten snake that took over my brain to force me to duel Yugi. You're not Merrick! Oh, really? You won't be speaking such nonsense when my mystical beast circuit ends you now! Wait, Odeon. I want you to destroy him with the Egyptian God card! Uh-oh. But it's too dangerous, Master. Please, reconsider your request. Ever since I can remember, you long to be a part of my family. Well, this is your chance. Oh. I am Merrick, and I will now play my Egyptian God card to prove it. Didn't see that coming. Ancient One, hear my call. In the name of the Great Pharaoh. Come forth and reveal your awesome strength, the Winged Dragon of Ra! Behold, the strongest of all Egyptian god monsters, a being like no other. Actually, isn't Ra the weakest? Let anyone who doubts my power feel the fire of the mighty Ra! No. The Winged Dragon of Ra! Attack! Doesn't it backfire or something? Obey me! Why won't Ra obey me? Uh... What? I can feel the real Egyptian god's anger from my deck. Yeah, because he was using a fake. The rage of my Egyptian god card is going to strike everyone involved in this duel. Wow, that sucks for Joey, dude. Master Merrick, I am not worthy enough to control this card. Well, it is a fake. Just as I was not worthy enough to be part of your family. Ah! Oh! <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. All right, fair enough. Odeon. Odeon! No, Master Merrick. You must not let him awaken. Oh, so he hasn't awakened yet. And this is where he becomes Yami Merrick. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, so then we got some coins. Uh, pretty good. Zone complete. Wow, it took forever to finish this first zone. I might have to like really speed up on the next ones, cause holy crap, that was a lot of time. Oh, let's get a present. Oh, a hundred gems! A hundred gems! You can get those kind of rewards from those boxes. Uh, we got Mai over here, Merrick, huh? So this loser has an Egyptian god card. It won't take long for me to seize his card and use it to win the Battle City Finals. Prepare to be cast into the shadows. It's getting dark! Alright. Uh, what's this fog? It's just as I feared. Merrick has summoned the evil powers of the Shadow Realm. I wonder, I wonder how they, like... Transit, how they did this in the Japanese version because the Shadow Realm is just an English invention. Um, that just basically means the Shadow Realm is just a, an allegory for death, basically, so or a substitution for death. Uh, so, Shadow Realm? My! This duel must end now! There's more at stake than you know! Yugi, have you completely lost it? It'll take more than some creepy fog to scare me off. Yugi, Joey, I appreciate your concerns, but 
My mind's made up, and I'm staying in this duel. So if you'll excuse me, I've got a duel to win. Very good, foolish girl. I knew that I could count on you to use that stubborn mind of yours. While you still remember how. Ah ha ha, very funny. All right, you ready, Merrick? Uh, so do I have to defeat my? Use Merrick to defeat my. Wow, use a wing dragon of raw one time. Successfully perform one tribute summon. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this deck to be honest. We got that raw deck that I showed off not too long ago. So it's basically a Gear Gear control deck. So let's just go ahead and do it. Alright, let's get things started. We got Yami Merrick over here. And what are we using? What are we using? Alright, Amazonist Village. They've actually got their skills. Foolish girl. The Shadow Realm hungers for you. I'm ready to show huh. you what real dueling's all about. Duel. I didn't know they had dialogue, but whatever. Um, how am I gonna deal with that? We already got that Dinotherium in hand, dude. Uh, so, ooh, actually, actually, I summon a monster in attack position. Ooh, actually, let's special summon the boy Dinotherium. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to cut you off, Dinotherium. We don't have time for all your shenanigans. Uh, Alright, so we got Dinotherium out here. I could get the Geargy Accelerator for next turn, but I think I would rather pass, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass. He's passing! I can get raw! <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! Alright, let's do this. Special? Alright, let's do it. A first turn raw. No way, dude. I mean, we can gear the attacker. Destroy. Bam, get wrecked. Normal summon, dude! Woo! We did it! Oh, nice. We got that plastic chicken out of here, dude. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Power of the Tributed, 4,900. Do we want to use this? No, we don't want to use this effect. But we want to use this effect, though. Its special ability, behold the true form of Ra. All right. Egyptian god Phoenix. Really? Uh, He's doing the Phoenix thing. I didn't know he had. He would say that, but whatever. Its special ability, behold. Uh, yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Whatever. We're destroying stuff right now. Alright, so get wrecked both of those cards. She's running harpies too. So, is that game? <laughs> GG, dude! Oh, that was quick. I should get all the points for that. I should get all the points for that. Uh oh. Did you kill her? Alright, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's actually check the scores. I really want to check that score. Uh, so, we get some experience. Victory. All right, so 4,600. That's it. But we got some gems right there. That's not bad. Uh, so pretty cool. Summon a divine monster. Moving on. <laughs> Only individuals who can read the ancient text can wield the power of Ra. If you can't read the chant, then I shall release the winged dragon of Ra. Is this because she like changed a heart or something and took the Ra from him? I, I think that that was the situation. Because she ended up taking it. Such a pity it has to end like this, my dear. I... Your mind is a mere shadow of its former self, and it's growing even dimmer. As soon as my monster attacks, your world will crumble. That's enough. Leave my alone. Your grudge is against me, not her. That's true, Pharaoh. But I'm just having a little fun up here. There's nothing I like more than toying with someone's mind. This is... This madness has to stop. Understand? Right now! You tell him, Yugi. This madness has just begun. Tormenting your little friend's mind is merely practice. For soon you shall suffer. While the world finally cowers in fear before me. This shadow game is over. The time has come to trap your mind in the shadows forever. 
You're about to feel the rage of the gods! Farewell. Joey's not dead? <gasps> hey, my! I'll get you out of this! Joey? Forget about me! Just go! No way, my! Not without you! Listen, Joey, don't be a hero! Just go! Look, I'm staying right here! Joey, thank you. I, I have no idea what's going on, dude. <laughs> Alright, so is this where like she gets trapped in sand or something? Uh, something like that, right? Oh! Oh, Yugi blocked him! I don't remember this. I really don't remember this. Wow. Yugi! Merrick, I will shield everyone from your evil and send you back to the darkness. Neat, I got all of them, dude. Woo! Hmm. What, Ishizu? Why are you here? We meet again, said Okaiba. My Millennium Necklace tells me you will lose this duel to me. I must save Merrick. I know there's a good, bar good buried deep within my brother. <laughs> Enough with the Millennium Items. I don't believe in that nonsense. Is that clear? And I don't appreciate you using my tournament to solve your personal family issues. I plan this competition with one goal in mind. To reclaim my place as the number one duelist in the world. Just because you were foolish enough to hand me Obelisk doesn't mean I won't use it to end you. I'm a far better duelist than you, and I plan to win this tournament. <laughs> Alright, cool, Kaiba. Alright. Obelisk will fall by my hand, leading to Kaiba's defeat. Uh, okay. Summon Blue Eyes. Uh, inflict 3,000 more battle damage, single attack. Alright, so I gotta use Kaiba, so let's switch it up. Screw it. We're gonna be using this deck. I just have a, a straight up Blue Eyes deck. Uh, I'm probably just gonna be using it. I don't think I've used this in a really, really, really long time, so. Uh, whatever. Let's just go ahead and just do it. Alright, what do you got a Shizu? Uh, I think normally on these events, I just I just breeze through them with like an auto duel deck or whatever. I think I've used like arrow mages and stuff like that in the past. Uh, but we got peak performance. What do you got, Shizu? Nothing? Your destiny nonsense. Is that clear? Kaiba, I have already seen that you will lose this duel to me. Duel! Okay, alright. So we got Kaiba Man already. That's legit, dude. Set. I'm gonna go for Kaiba Man. In the mirror, dude! Kaiba Man, do your thing. Except, not really, because this Kaiba Man is, uh... Kaiba Man's smiling. And, and Kaiba doesn't usually smile. Well, he kinda does, but he's got an evil smile. Whatever, let's go ahead and end. How are you gonna get over my prismatic blue eyes? The prismatic makes it stronger. Uh, so, they're setting, setting. Oh my goodness, dude, they're setting so much stuff. Wall of D, not bad. Also... I do have that Spear Dragon. 2100. Attack. That defense position monster. What is it? Hey, you will take some damage. Uh, is that game? Game? That was fast. That was fast. Ha! There's only one way for me to win this. I summon Obelisk the Tormentor. Yes. Now attack me, Kaiba. As soon as you do. Your Egyptian god will self-destruct just as my necklace foretold. What does she use? Blast with spear or something? Blast with spear? Blast with whatever. I need nothing but the strength of an Egyptian god to win! The end is here! No one can survive the fury of Obelisk! Obelisk, the tormentor! Uh, I win. Ugh. Obelisk isn't attacking. I feel something strange inside. Blue Eyes, you're talking to me. Alright. Blue Eyes? Uh, I. Hear me now. I won't be controlled. I decide my future, not you, Ishizu. I tribute Obelisk and one other monster. How could my ne Millennium Necklace be wrong? He has changed the future. 
Show yourself, blue eyes! Hey, Ishizu, if you can foresee all my moves, how did blue eyes surprise you? Unless, of course, you're nothing but a fake, as I suspected. Blue eyes, white dragon, attack! White lightning! Get wrecked! Victory is mine. Hey, we got them all. Nice. All right, so that's the next zone, and we got thousand needles from it. All right, fair enough. I don't think that's the last one, is it? Merrick, you evil freak! If I beat you in a duel, I can get my, I can get my back. Did he just assume that? And until I save my, Yugi and I can't have our duel. I gotta beat Merrick at his own twisted game. Or lose my mind trying. <laughs> Why'd it get dark all of a sudden? It's getting dark. Because it's the start of the shadow game, Wheeler. Shadow game? Can you hear those screams? They're the helpless cries of your friend Mai. Don't worry. I'll let you see her soon. The weaker she gets, the stronger my powers grow. <laughs> Let's do this. Bring it on. I'm ready for your shadow game. <laughs> and you're going down. Low 40. All right. This is my fight. And when I win, Yugi and I will finally have our duel. All right, shut up, Joey. All right, so ooh, we got to use Lava Golem. 1,500 or more damage. All right. Yami Merrick. You know what? I think I'm just going to go for that straight up same deck that I used before. Battle. I never show mercy. I Get wrecked. I summon the Wing Dragon of Ra. You think you fought well, but you haven't. Behold the true form of Ra. This is the last monster you'll ever see, little Joey. This duel... And your existence will end this turn. I'm going to lose this turn? In its phoenix form, I can give up a thousand life points to have Raw disintegrate your monster instantly. No matter how much attack your monster has. So what if your feathered friend can use a secret ability? I won't lose any life points. Losing life points should be the last of your worries. You forget this is a shadow game. When Ra attacks, you will be drained of all your strength. In a few short moments, every ounce of your energy in your body will be gone for good. <laughs> You'll be rendered completely useless at the hands of the Winged Dragon of Ra. The Phoenix rises tonight! Ah! No! I can't lose for my and for my duel against Yugi. Ah! When the smoke clears, you'll be nothing but a motionless shell. <laughs> Return to me, my great beast. Your task is now complete. What? You should be wiped out by now. Yugi? I'm getting ready for our duel. The last match of the Battle City Finals. Finals? Oh yeah, like we promised. It can't be! No one can withstand the devastating fury of an Egyptian god! It's my turn now, and you're wide open. You... Gear freed! I'll... win. Attack. He lost! Joey! Yeah, he lost right before he can deal the, deal the final blow. Okay, <laughs> I barely got anything, dude. Alright, uh, cool. Where's your nerd herd? 
Are they too busy trying to wake Wheeler up from his nap? Joey is in a great deal of danger now. More than you could ever know. It's not always about being number one. It's about dueling with bravery, honor, and respect. And most importantly, putting, your, putting the needs of others ahead of your own. And that's something Joey did every day of his life. Pathetic. I warned him not to play with the big boys, and he got just what he deserved. That's enough, Kaiba. You have no idea how dangerous this tournament of yours has become. The outcome of Battle City Finals could put the whole world at risk. Listen, I'm in this thing for one reason only. To be the greatest duelist in the world. So why don't you save your speech for someone who actually cares? We're about to find out which of our Egyptian god cards reigns supreme. So let the epic battle begin, and I will finally take down Yugi and regain my top dueling status. Okay. Game! By defeating you, I'll be closing the book on my past so I can concentrate on my future. I find your complete stubbornness and your lust for power puzzling, Kaiba. It holds you back. You'll never defeat me with a heart full of hatred and mistrust. You're just trying to distract me because you're scared of losing. Then why don't I let my actions speak for me? And I'll let my cards speak for me. Go! Attack Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon! Neutron Blast Attack! Dark Paladin, your history along with Red Eyes! I wouldn't be so sure of that. Kaiba, you're the one who's done. Oh, defusion. Defusion? My ultimate dragon splitting apart? Then I play my final spell card. Defusion wave motion. This spell sp splits my monster's attack to strike all your monsters. Attack, Dark Paladin. You lose, Kaiba. This duel is over. Get wrecked, Kaiba! Nice manga panel. I told you your hatred and your lust for power would never prevail. Nice. Alright, pretty good. Uh-oh, we got one more, dude! I'm gonna have to rush through this one. You've witnessed several of my shadow games before, but this one will be different. I've thrown in a few twists, especially for you in the ultimate shadow game. What's going on? See someone familiar? It's your dear friend Mai, slowly slipping into the shadows. Mai! Once our duel ends, she'll be gone. I'm afraid it gets worse. She's not the only one who's in danger here. Meet my next victim. Huh? What? Yugi! When a monster attacks you, you not only feel the damage for your real, but you lose a piece of yourself to the darkness ever every life point you lose. <laughs> and on my side, this nuisance will be erased instead of me. Huh. It's the other Merrick. When your life points reach zero, not only will I win the duel, but Yugi will be gone forever. And the same rule applies to my former self. So if I defeat him, the other Merrick will be gone? What should I do? Don't worry, we can do this. Ever since we met, we faced everything as a team. You're right, failure is not an option. Level 40. Good. Very good. Keep fighting. It'll make your defeat so much sweeter. Oh my god. What a mean person. Alright, so we gotta use Yugi, which is pretty cool because we already have him. Uh, use Yami Yugi. Use Slife for one time. And use a spell five cards in one duel. You know what? Screw it. We're just dueling them as is. Woo! 
Woo! Get wrecked, dude! I forgot how much I really love this deck. <laughs> I really like this deck. But whatever. I summon the Egyptian God! He took Obelisk? Obelisk the Tormentor! What? Obelisk the Tormentor! Obelisk, attack! Fist of Fury! Ah! Oh yeah! Merc's down to his last life point! We're all behind you, you... Yugi's going to win! But why is Yugi acting like he's the one in trouble? Ugh. Such pain. Such miserable pain. That was an effective strike, Yugi. But don't forget, I'm not the one who's feeling its effects. My weaker half is. Merrick! He's involved in this conflict as well. So if I lose, the shadows will take him. His entire life was a joke. The Shadow Realm will claim an innocent soul, no matter who wins. This isn't right. I'll prolong your anguish as long as I can. Until the Shadow Realm claims the all you possess. If I attack any further, Merrick will be on the brink of the abyss. But if I lose, Yugi will fall prey to the shadows. What can I do? Ugh, what can I do? There's only one thing you can do, Pharaoh. Just wait for the shadows to devour you. The very evil I created must be destroyed, but the Pharaoh won't attack because it'll destroy me. I'll, I put him through such misery. I turned his best friend against him. How could he be so forgiving? Pharaoh, Merrick is not our enemy. His dark side is, and I'm sure there's a way to defeat him. Yes, but how? Even if we lower his life points to zero, it's Merrick's good side who will be erased. Oh, I have an idea! Remember how Merrick fused himself with the Winged Dragon of Ra? I'm sure Merrick's planning to do that again. If he merges with Ra, they'll be unstoppable. But that also means Merrick becomes a monster himself. I see. Thank you, Yugi. We still have a chance. Uh... Yugi! Don't worry about me. Just defeat Merrick's evil. Understood, Yugi. And I promise I won't let you slip away either. Yugi, stare into the eternal darkness. All right, so now what do we got? We got the last duel. Uh, use Yami Yugi to defeat Yami Merrick. Use Dark Magician one time. Oh, okay, and Dark Magician girl. I'm gonna use Dark Magician. Screw it. All right, so this is the last duel. We got Yami Merrick. Yami Yugi. All right, so let's hope we don't get a crap garbage hand. Uh, cause this is it. This is all I have. I have no more dice. So... I can make this work, actually. I can actually make this work. Alright. Oh, perfect. I got this, dude. I got this. Uh, so first of all, we got... This card. So we're gonna get to sp special, pretty much... Eh, it doesn't matter. I guess I'll go for that one. To be honest, the Karibos are just tribute fodder in this deck. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and summon this guy, and this guy does let me tribute summon again, uh, which I will go for Dark Magician. So, summon, summon. Hey, not bad. Now, if he does lock me down somehow, and uses his Nightmare Wheel or whatever, whoa. If he does use Nightmare Wheel, I'll be able to like fight back with this uh, dedication through Light and Dark. All right, so let's go ahead and attack. All right, we got him. We got him. There we go. Alright, so get him out of the way. Uh, special summon from the deck, obviously. Not bad. Attack him, dude. Woo! Looks like, looks like you're in a bad position, Merrick. And now we got Chaos going off. 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add maybe that one. I could add Pluto Summoning, but no. I don't want to. I think that'd be dumb. Because I'll probably end up just drawing top decking Karibo and then I'll lose. Uh, so, there's that. Oh no, you're gonna weaken me! Oh no! You're still not strong enough, good. That would have been annoying. Wall of D though, Wall of D. Pretty good card. Alright. No need to use that yet. I think I straight up win. Game! Woo! Get wrecked, Merrick! <laughs> we win the tournament! O only tournament I'm ever gonna be winning. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's check to see how it ends. This duel is done, Pharaoh! The Winged Dragon of Ra! Destroy him! Blaze Cannon! I win! I wouldn't be so sure. What? I activate my spell! Magical Dimension! Hey, that's a new card. What's this? You're tributing an Egyptian god? Yes. Obelisk has served me well, but I must give him up in exchange for one last chance. You are a fool to tribute Obelisk. Without it to protect you, you have nothing left. I have plenty left. Look around! I still have every one of my friends to give me support. Such as my Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl! Hey! Once their great power is released, every monster on your field will be crushed, including Ra. And since you and Ra are fused together, you will be destroyed as well. Urgh! That may be, but the devastation will also destroy what's left of my weak side. Ugh. Well, go ahead and make your move, and crush an innocent soul! Master Merrick. Odeon! What's that fool doing here? If I were to let Master Merrick slip into the shadows, I could never forgive myself. You have no business being here, Odeon! Master Merrick, fight! We've conquered your wicked side before, and we could do it again! Release my master now! That's enough! What? Remember, you're the one that created him, and you can destroy him! I've come too far to lose my grip now! I will not be overpowered by my weak side! Please, Pharaoh! Attack me! No! Don't listen to him! Alright, here goes! I believe that you can hang on, even with just one life point! Dark Magicians! With the help of my entire army, unleash your incredible force! Double Dark Magic Attack! Merrick. Merrick! No! This can't be happening! I'm the one who will be offered to the shadows! You can't do this, Merrick! Listen, we can still crush the Pharaoh together! Pharaoh, I can't change the past, but I can start over by embracing my family legacy. I will honor the Ishtar name by surrendering this duel. No! Don't do it! Yugi and the Pharaoh, thank you for saving me. You're making a huge mistake! Ha! Take that as a win. By forfeiting, his life points will drop to zero and his evil side will vanquish into the shadows. Be gone! I surrender this duel to the Pharaoh! Ah! Ah! Did it. Alright, so that's it! We got it! We got all the points, all zones complete! We got a 
first card, which is that fusion whatever card. Uh, and not bet. That's pretty much it. That, that puts us at the very end. 1,715 coins that we can pretty much use to get this. Uh, what, what do we need? Like, we only need 300 to get a 10 pack. Holy crap. We're going to go off on the, on the pulls. We're going to see if we can get anything good. Lightning means it's something good. Topher, uh, SR, you are double. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, we got the Fusion Sage. Or Dark Sage, I mean. I keep calling him Fusion Sage. And another Anti-Magic Arrows. I don't need that card, but this card's still pretty good. Uh, you only need one copy of him. Uh, but not bad. We're going to keep going. We want that blue summoning whatever magician. The guy that summons Guy the Fierce Knight. That's, that's what we want. So another another one. What do we got this time? A Mahavayo. Awesome, dude. That's actually really good. And the gems. And the EX gems. Woo! This is pretty good. This is pretty good. All right. So keep going. Keep going. Probably nothing, right? All right. Yeah, that's probably nothing. That's just EX gems right there. 20 EX gems is not bad, actually. All right. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Let's see if we can do, what, like two more? Nothing. All right. We got nothing on this one. Fair enough. Yeah, that's nothing. All right, keep it up, keep it up. Anything cool? No? All right. EX gems are pretty cool, though. I mean, because they do have some pretty cool uh, rewards with that one thing. Last seven pack pull thingy. Uh, nothing? All right, cool. Mm, all right, no gems or anything. So that's pretty much it. I had a lot of fun with this event. I'm probably going to be grinding this thing over and over and over again. Let me know if, if you guys are liking this e event. If you guys have gotten anything cool. If you guys got that new UR. Uh, but whatever, and if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today, have a great day, and see you guys.